the Oracle timestamp conversion video, we created a converter to get Java SQL timestamp. However, we did not create a reusable function that could be used across multiple projects just by adding a dependency. In this video, we will leverage expression functions from the Mule SDK to create reusable data view functions. Let's get started. So I already have a use case from the last video. In the last video, I created a converter to get Java SQL timestamp from the Oracle timestamp. Now the idea over here is to make this converter reusable so that it can be used across different projects by just adding a dependency. So what we have to do is we'll have to take this function and make it reusable. So here is where we can use expression functions. So let's try to understand that. I have already created a project so this follows the same steps that we need to follow to create a custom connector. So you can watch the custom connector videos that I have created. Uh, the links will also be present in the description below. So so I've, I've given the group ID as com.mycompany, artifact ID as oracle ts hyphen converter and packaging is mule extension because this is a custom connector project and then it has the parent uh, module which is mule modules parent so that's the only change and I do not have any dependencies and then we have the extension class so this is named as oracle converter extension so uh, the standard custom connector project right so then we have to add an XML prefix so I've given it as converter so I'll be using this prefix converter to call the particular function it's it's same as the way we use uh, the P function right it's like mule method reference uh, then the P function so we'll do something of that sort I've given the name and this is where things change its expression functions so this this determines that the functions that can be used directly in data view would be from this class which is oracle ts converter functions so i've created the class oracle ts converter function and now in this class we'll have to bring the logic which was there in this converter cl class so let's just copy this and paste it in here alright so ensure that this particular method is public so that it can be accessed directly from data view and what we can do is like maybe we can slightly try to clean the code up for example we have this no such method exception right so I'll just clean this up and uh, so that it doesn't throw exception again let's just do that so I've made a couple of changes to the code so I've, I've removed unnecessary throws keyword so I have basically converted all the exception into unchecked exception which is a runtime exception so that I not need to rethrow it from here because I'm sure that those exception the likelihood of those exception coming up is quite less so I've made those as a unchecked exception and to make the code clean I've done that so what I've done is I've cached the no such method exception because that could be thrown while reflecting on the class right so it's so I'm, I'm basically just logging that it does not have any timestamp value method in case of no such method is thrown and then I'm wrapping that exception into runtime exception same is for illegal access exception in case if the method exists but it doesn't have a public method in that case this exception will be encountered and again I'm adding the reason and just throwing a new runtime exception which is unchecked and this class cast exception is for this case wherein we get the object but that object cannot be coursed into or 
casted into java.sql timestamp ideally that won't happen but just in case if that happens I've added it and then uh, the last one is invocation target so in case if there are nested classes and it's there occurs some invocation target exception I'm just getting the throwable and just printing the message and then again throwing a runtime exception so that's the only change that I have done so that the code looks a bit clean as opposed to the previous one wherein like we were just throwing everything right so I've just made it a slightly better and in case if you are not sure what's happening over here please check the previous video where I've explained in detail what what are these two lines of codes doing so that's the only change that we require we created an extension and in the extension we are using expression functions and referencing this converter functions class so now that we have done all the changes we'll now have to install this plugin and then add a dependency in our projects so let's quickly do a maven install on this project so I am at the project directory now I'll open a command prompt and do a clean install mbn install skip the test cases so once it gets installed in my local repo I should be able to add a dependency to the project okay so the build is success now I can go and uh, add a dependency to the project so let's open the pom.xml and let's copy this part and add it as a dependency let's listen okay so I'll add a dependency over here and classifier should be mule plugin so well, let's add that again let's just save this so there's some changes I can see that has been added to the class path and I am I'm able to see all the classes right so now what I can do is I can go to this listener test and then simply invoke so to invoke I'll have to use this prefix converter and one point to note over here is that ensure whenever you create a prefix the first letter should be in uppercase if you do not do that then you'll uh, face unwanted errors so it's uh, mandatory that you use the first letter as capital so let's just copy this and now now that we have the dependency I can just remove this part and I think it's already there converter yeah and the method name remains the same so converter get java sql timestamp this will call this particular converter function so now let's just call this so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm querying the database and this database has a created timestamp field which returns oracle timestamp if we see this this is the field which is returning oracle timestamp and it would if not converted it would give a uh, share bytes uh, uh, pro problem so the only solution is to either to add a property to the runtime level or else uh, use this method to get it converted so now we should be able to convert it now let's try quickly try to run this project okay so the application has been deployed now let's quickly hit the API and see if we are able to get the response let's send the request and perfect it's working as expected and if I see created timestamp I'm able to retrieve the value so this shows that we were able to get the data 
uh, we were also able to access the function using express uh, expression function and it converted the Oracle timestamp into the SQL timestamp so this is the way you can leverage expression functions and it's not just this function you can create any functions if you want to use in data view and just write your logic over here in Java and then just directly use using the prefix into the data view script so I hope uh, you would have understood how to use this expression functions and found this video useful thanks for watching